A bizarre accident that leads to the death of three horses sends a Bethel woman to the hospital. Good evening, everybody. We're learning more about that early morning accident in Claremont County, including why those horses were on the road. A woman hit them with her car on State Route 125, just west of Bethel, near South Campbell Road. Local 12's Rich Jaffe joins us now live near the scene. Rich? Cammy, in rural areas like this, it is not common to see streetlights along a road like this. So when it gets dark out here, it gets really dark. Now this time of year, it is not unusual to hear calls about accidents involving vehicles and deer. But imagine driving down this road in the dark of the early morning and suddenly realizing there are three horses right in front of your car. In daylight, the blood-stained pavement gives you no idea how terrible the accident was. It was shortly before 4 this morning that Patricia Perkins was driving down 125 headed toward Bethel, when suddenly in front of her were three full-grown horses. One of the animals died on impact. Two others were critically injured. Another driver, Brian Cooper, stopped to help and checked on Perkins as he called 911. Are you okay, ma'am? Oh, okay, just sit down. Oh, in my car. Just, just, just sit down, ma'am. Just sit down. Okay. Is she injured? Yes, yeah, she is injured. Okay. Well, don't send it. Don't move her around unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay. Ohio State troopers, along with a sheriff's deputy and Bethel firefighters, did what they could for everyone involved. Medics took Perkins to Claremont Mercy. The horses weren't so lucky. Uh, we did contact a local veterinarian just to assess the uh, injuries to them and whether we can move them or not. Uh, and then also attempted to locate the owner of the horses. Uh, at this time, that's why the road's been closed for about an hour, trying to get permission from the owner or locate somebody that can give us permission to, uh, to do what we needed to do with the other two horses that were remaining here. The vet euthanized the two injured horses. Early this afternoon, we found the owner and the horses a short distance away at their home. Their owner didn't want to talk on camera, but told me the horses got out because someone turned off the electric fence that keeps them on the property. They're not like your common car deer crash. Uh, obviously, uh, with it involving a domesticated animal, uh, we need to try and get permission to put uh, the animals down if they need to be placed down. Um, so it's not your normal run-of-the-mill uh, traffic accident. Now, I'm told the only possible chance to have saved those two remaining horses would have been to transport them to a vet hospital in Louisville, and it was decided out here and with conversation with the owner that that just wasn't feasible. So, as you heard, the vet had to put them down. It was a very, very traumatic scene for everyone involved. In Claremont County, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Cammy, and, and clearly it was an accident, Rich, but I'm wondering, do you know, can the owner of those horses be held responsible for that crash? There is a possibility. Ohio Highway Patrol is continuing the investigation, and there is a possibility that the owner could be charged for not keeping those animals confined or controlled. As you can imagine, it is the owner's responsibility in a situation like that, but whether or not he's going to be charged will probably be up to the Claremont County prosecutor. All right, we'll wait and see, Rich Jaffe. Thank you. Patricia Perkins' car really doesn't have as much damage as you might imagine. A shattered windshield and some damage along the driver's side. There's no word on her condition. Equestrian experts say it's not unusual for horses to wander more this time of year in search of fresher grass.